Hey there, welcome to my latest video on how to create a 5M server on Windows in 2023. Let's get started. Okay, first you gotta check out the link runtime.5m.net. The This is pretty much the artifacts link for like for the completely complete server files that you gotta download the latest recommended. Um, might take some time. Um, what you do then is you need to extract the server.7 zip. It's like the um, the zip uh, file. Uh, you you find this one like everything like this. Um, the completely f the complete files. Um, these are the 5m server files. Um, you gotta extract it to a complete new folder. Um, call it like 5m server. Sorry that I say so many times like, <laughs> but it's just like. Yeah, well, again, <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, you gotta extract it here. And all you need to do is opening the fxserver.exe. Um, when you do that, keep in mind, um, you gotta configure your server by yourself. Um, that means this server will be completely empty. Um, you can install, however, um, the standard packages. But um, what I would recommend is a server template or like ready to go server files from 5M mods.net. I'm gonna show you what I mean. All right, I opened the page. Um, so that means these are complete servers. So you can check out whatever is live on the page. For example, this server, the super ESX server. And you can go on and buy this setup complete from like today, now. Um, you can um, download all the files right away. So whenever you buy it, you can just drag and drop all the files to your 5M server. And everything is pre-installed. So you, gotta, you, you will not waste time on creating job scripts or finding some free scripts. Everything is included. Uh, you can you can um, check the videos of the server. You can check other servers. Um, maybe you will find one that you might like. Um, I recommend using a 5M server template. However, if you don't do that and if you start your server on the console, uh, you will get you will get redirected to the. Um, to, to a creation page on your browser like that um, click on link account authorize authorize sorry and create a backup password whatever type in there so you will remember um, that you a password that you will remember and then you go through the process of here um, can use a standard template and press start. Um, you also gotta um, generate it. and whenever you're ready, just press on next and start. And there it is, there's your server. So I hope you liked this video and if you liked it, then please share it and subscribe. Thank you so much.